Hello everyone, this is Dr. Simran and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you are doing great. So today I'll be making video on herbs and gynae. I'll divide the video into two parts. The first one will be on gynae and the part two will be on herbs. In this video, I'll be talking about the different resources for herbs and gynae and the important topics that are important for AMC MCQ exam. So let's start. Let's start with the resources for herbs and gynae for AMC MCQ exam. So the resources include the John Murtha, which is the main reference book for herbs and gynae. The next is the Kaplan Step 2 CK. Then the Avidex or Amplasex, which are the Q-Banks. Then Handbook. And last but not the least, Recalls. Uh, so let's start the important topics for gynae from the John Murtha. Uh, so I did gynae mainly from the John Murtagh and the important topics include the first and foremost is the cervical cancer screening which is the most important topic for AMC MCQ exam that you cannot ignore. Uh, cervical cancer screening you can do from the red book also and there is a good guideline for cervical cancer screening that I'll share in the description because make sure you read and study the updated one because GM doesn't contain much information regarding this cervical cancer screening so it's better to read this from the updated guideline. Next is cervical polyp. Cervical polyp is another important topic and in uh, regarding cervical cancer screening, uh, you should keep in mind the important points like when to do uh, cryotherapy, when to do cone biopsy, when to do leave. So these are the important points that you should keep in mind because AMC give twisted scenarios related to these points. Uh, then moving on to the next topic, the family planning. Family planning that is the contraception. Contraception is again super important for AMC MCQ exam and you should know the different types of contraceptive methods. Um, like what are the uh, contraceptive methods in the form of pills, what are injectable contraceptive methods and what are the intrauterine devices and uh, what are the indications and contraindications again the absolute and relative contraindications that you should keep in mind because amc again gives twisted scenarios related to these type of contraceptive methods uh, and regarding these contraceptive methods um, the chapter in the gm has good information but along with that i did especially this topic from the Amidex as well because Amidex explanations are good enough uh, like for this type of topic because they give good information related to the indications, the contraindications regarding the absolute and uh, relative contraindications. So I would suggest you to do the same like focus on the Amidex explanations as well and learn important points from those explanations along with the John Murta. Uh, and it worked for me so I think it will work for you as well uh, then talk about the breast disorders so breast disorders again include the breast cancer screening a screening again you can do this from the red book um, along with that there are important topics like the fat necrosis fibroadenoma breast carcinoma mastitis so you should keep in mind there uh, you should keep in mind uh, the management of these topics and the presentation like how would they present and what are the characteristic findings that you will see in a patient then talk about the important topics like vaginal discharge vaginal discharge is another like important topic for amc mcq exam you should know the different types of discharges and based on those discharges how would you identify a particular infection like for example the bacterial vaginosis candidiasis uh, trichomoniasis and the different types of stis that are sexually transmitted infections like chlamydia gonorrhea uh, these topics are better explained in the GM, but I would suggest you to do these topics from the guideline as well. I will share the guideline in the description for these STIs 
that has a very good information related to this okay uh, next talk about the lower abdominal pain and the abnormal uh, vaginal bleeding so under these headings the topic include adenomyosis endometriosis um, apart from that dysmenorrhea dysmenorrhea and endometriosis are very similar uh, terms and you should have a good idea on what is endometriosis and what is dysmenorrhea other topics include the premenstrual syndrome, premenstrual dysphoric disorder. You should know the difference between these two, like how would they present and how will you treat these two. And then uh, talk about infertility. Infertility definition you should keep in mind and you should keep in mind the different investigations that you would offer to that infertile couple and what are the different uh, like types of treatment or management for infertility like what are the different methods for the infertile couple then moving on to pelvic organ prolapse uh, vaginal prolapse urinary incontinence for example the urge incontinence is stress incontinence or mixed incontinence like what is the definition of these uh, types of incontinence and how will you, how will you treat these incontinence based on the age severity and there are multiple different factors that you should keep in mind while treating a particular incontinence then talking about the pcos pcos polycystic ovarian disease is another important topic for amc mcq exam and i will suggest you to do this topic from the guidelines because jm i think doesn't explain this topic much like in a better way so it's better and it's very important so i will suggest you to do this from the guidelines the updated ones because for this uh, type of uh, topic you should keep in mind the different hormonal changes that happen like the pathophysiology and the different types of management options for pcos like for particularly hirsutism what will you do for acne what will you do and for hormonal imbalance what will you do so the there are different types of um, uh, treatments for the different types of presentations for pcos Amenorrhea is another super important topic for AMC MCQ exam. Uh, you should know the definitions of primary amenorrhea, the secondary amenorrhea, and what can be the different causes of primary amenorrhea and secondary amenorrhea. Again, this topic is not better explained in GM, and I did this topic mainly from the guidelines and from Amedex explanations also because Amedex give good explanations regarding this amenorrhea and you will find certain different flow charts like what uh, what investigations you would offer in case of primary amenorrhea and what type of different causes you can think of in in regards to primary amenorrhea in regards to secondary amenorrhea and what is the step by step uh, management for these two conditions because for example if we talk about primary amenorrhea the different uh, causes that come in our mind is, for example, the malarian agenesis, the um, androgen insensitivity syndrome. So these are the different topics that you should have a good idea because uh, this is another important and very important topic for AMC MCQ exam. You should know the investigations like um, in Amadex, you will find certain scenarios. For example, I'm giving you an example that if a patient is presenting you uh, with primary amenorrhea um, and has certain sexual characteristics, so what condition you can think of in this type of particular scenario? Then another example is if a person, if a female is coming to you with primary amenorrhea and with the absence of certain secondary sexual characteristics, then what condition you can think of in this scenario? So these these are different uh, types of scenarios that AMC uh, gives us and these can be confusing if you do not have good concepts on these terminologies and in, on these topics. So that's why I'm emphasizing so much on this. So amenorrhea is super important and it's better you read them from the guidelines as well and from the Amedex explanations as well. Uh, I think that's all for the gynae topics. See you in the next video on ops and the important topics. 
so till then bye bye take care also if you find my videos helpful don't forget to like subscribe and share bye bye take care